Good day people. So today I'm going to be taking oh, my oxygen sensor, mirror 2 sensor, give a clean as I'm starting to get the service warning light on. I have tried an expensive cleaner but still not turning the light off, still not cleaning it. So as you can see it's that bit there I need to get to. I don't seem I can get to it from underneath so I am going to try take this cover off here and try and take my fan off so I can get my hand down to get to it so to start off with is you need to get a screwdriver underneath these see here There is a little gap there. Just prise it up slowly, then just pull it off. So I'll come back as soon as I got this off. Right, so I've took all the little clips off. When you pull the top bits off, then all you do is put your screwdriver underneath and pop the bottom ones off. So you got one here, one here, one there, one there, 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 and there. So all you do is lift it forward, lift it up from the back here. And you can see, and you just pull it backwards to untuck it from your front grill. Place it on the floor out of the way. So next thing is to work out how to get this fan off. Go and do the two bolts here, put hold on your water bottle to move it out of the way to give you some room. Then on your fan there is a bolt what's just underneath here. If you follow your fan across, it's right in the corner. I would say it is very awkward to see what it is. You can see the old there, just there. So I would say it's just below here. You look down. There's one bolt there, and as you look down here, just below your big pipe here, there's another bolt to your fan there as well. So undo them. Well, I'll get them undone, and we'll go from there. So, what we've done, unbolted the bottle, took the clip off here, moved the pipe up move the bottle over out my way to give me some space uh, I've unplugged this from my fan what's connected to in here uh, you push, I pushed the clip in my clips broke so all I've done is pulled it out so you need to tuck that out of the way then your bolt is just underneath here let's take your fan off Alright, let's get that. So, what a pain this is coming to be. Took this pipe off. You have to pull the clips round and push them down to pull the pipe off. Bit of a bitch to get off. I've had to take this off as well. It's just two bolts here. That ball goes on there. And you got a washer, two bolts. And that little rod bit goes through an old ear to hold it on. So you take that off so that yeah, there is two bolts holding the fan on. There's one here just underneath the big pipe, I want that side, and your fan just pops up. You have to take this off so your fan will lift up through the hole. So let's get this. So, 
There's that. I'm about to take the big black pipe off here as well, connects to the bottom. Uh, it's a straight screwdriver and it bolts into the top here, connects onto this pipe. I like to remove that as well as the back of the fan was catching it. So let's try and get the fan out now. So there we go, it's out. Right, and like I said, I've had to take the top cover off the engine to get the bolt for that black pipe there off. Soon that was off. And I've moved this, I think it's a vacuum, out of the way what was connected onto here. Let me take that off before I lose it. So, yep, vacuum what was connected onto there as well. I've took the black pipe off here. What was bolted on here? I say I had to take the top cover off to unbolt this here. Take that black pipe off and I've had to undo this and just slide it over slightly so I get the fan to slide up and out. Right, as you tell, got plenty of room in the front now. Yeah, I would say so far it's took me about 40 minutes and this is the first time I've done it this way anyway. Like I say, go through the bottom, but as you can tell, it is a complete tight pain in the arse to get up to do it. So, there again, it's a pain in the arse to go through the top as well, I guess, taking all this off. But, I say you got that cross member at the bottom there. That's in the way to get your hands up. So you're having to come through this side anyway to get to it. So you bend your arms around trying to get up to your oxygen sensor. What is that there? So I thought I'd give it a go going through the top, try and give me a bit more room to get to it. So let's get get it disconnected now. I'll show you how to go along what to do. Alright, that's the O2 sensor out. Stay it out, bad boy. I wonder why it's throwing the signal up. So I'll give that a clean in a minute. So, the wiring was easier to get. But when I first time did it, it was a pain in the royal oars because the wiring is underneath here so what I did was get a flat screwdriver I will post up bits where I got the wire on there anyway from previous all I did was see this here is hooked around like a metal fork and it's pushed onto the body of the engine the other wire, a second. the other wire comes across, plugs in, and this locks it in together. So what I did was put a flat screwdriver straight down here. You'll see it anyway. The yellow pin. You see, you see the yellow pin down there. Put your flat screwdriver in and just slowly pop it out. You're gonna need a long flat screwdriver to do it. So you pull that out, then where this connects into the body like that, pull your flat screwdriver underneath it and just prise it off the engine so it pops off the engine like that. If this does come off like mine does. Don't worry about it because it pulls straight off. When the wire comes down to this side, you'll be able to get it from this side and get your hand round to do the other. There is a black clip on the other side. You just push the clip in and it just pulls out. I hope that's easy enough to explain. I just couldn't video doing it while it's doing it because it's in an awkward spot. You will see what I mean anyway when you start doing it yourself. But like I said, the easiest bit is, well, not easiest, but get a long 
flat screwdriver and you want to go through here down there you'll see this yellow clip connected it on do it like that Your flat screwdriver in there and just pull it off I find it easy to pull the old finger off so it won't in my way then get your flat screwdriver underneath your clip or both your clips and just prise it off the body of the engine a hell of a lot easier because there's no way of getting this side of the wire what connects to your wire loom pulled off without doing it so all I did was pop it off put both one hand this side one hand that side pushed in the black clip and just pulled it then you got one of these awkward bastards here what's connected right underneath that fucker so it's a feel game you gotta feel it I twisted it around so I could get my pliers onto that there by feel and just pulled it up after I unconnected it pulled it up so it popped completely off there like that then it's a 22mm spanner I used open ring there's just enough space to get it down crack it open and use your fingers to undo it so let's give this a clean and get it back together Right, so let's say I'm going to give this a clean now. Let's state it out. I have used cheap, cleaning stuff you pour in your fuel to try and clean it. Then I used the expensive stuff, I think it was something like 20 quid. Poured it in, you have to do it on a quarter of a tank. You pour it in, run it till your light comes on, and then fill your tank up. It did work, it, it worked for, I don't know, six, 12 months, the light went off, your service warning light, not your oil service light. It will come up on your screen as service due. I plugged in my diagnostic cost, our diagnostic quit cost me about 150 quid off a site. If you wanna know where I got it from, drop us a message and I'll let you know where I got my diagnostic but it only does voxels you can buy ones what do all cars but I only brought one that does voxels as I well the wife seems to only have voxel cars so let's say I'm going to give this a clean now I tried doing the cleaning stuff in the fuel again didn't work and as it's nearly coming to the end of October Christmas is round the corner. I ain't a rich man. I'm a working man. So you have to make things do. Do. Till you get more money. So like I say, I'm going to give this a clean. See if it works. If not, then after Christmas, I'll just rip it off. Bang a new one. But 110 quid for a new one is a lot of money just before Christmas. So there we go. Let's give it a clean up. So, there we go, I'll get it clean. Just got to finish it off. All I've used is carburetor, air intake cleaner. Sprayed in all them holes there. Here's a quick wipe down. All I've done is filled them holes up. The carb cleaner just leaving it to soak for a bit. So, while I'm waiting for that to soak, what I do, I run through everything once more for you. So, first thing is, you need to take your top black panel off. They do have the black clips in, so you need to use a flat screwdriver, pop the top of the clips out, pull them out, then pop the bottom of the clip out. The same many across that, pull that off. Then, what you want to do is, Take your top cover of your engine off, put your 
oil cap back on. Undo this here. The, uh, I think it's a valve. Uh, I think that's what people call it anyway. Undo the two bolts there. Pull out the pin. Take that off. Then you want to take off this black pipe here. What a pain. So, it screws in. Oh, there's like a little screw. Undo it, pull it off here. That pulls off. Undo two bolts, one this side, one that side for your radiator. Unclip your bottle here. It's one of them plastic clips again, pop it up, pop the bottom through, just move it out of the way. Obviously you want to take your air pipe off as well. And that pipe there, they come straight off. So, when you've done that, you want to undo your top water rolls here, off your radiator. Remove that out of the way, just tuck it out of the way out up there. Then you want to unclip this off your fan. I say, when I was doing mine, mine broke. So all I did was put a flat screwdriver in, push it in, pull it off, tuck that out of the way. Right, so your fan has only got two bolts in at the top. Then all you do is lift your fan up, take it out the clips out the bottom. Then the awkward bit begins. It's trying to get your fan from that out, up this side and push this side down. So it comes up from here, it wants to come up like this, up and out here. Be dead careful of this as it was just touching. You don't want to be breaking it. Uh, make sure your fan don't push against your radiator as well. So take your time. It is a bit of a pain, a bit of a tight squeeze to get it out. Like I say, the radiator is like this. You pull it up, pull it out a bit and guide it up. And while you're guiding this side up, you want to be pushing this side down. When you're pushing this side down, just watch with your top pipe here, your holes just get caught on that. So just push it that way as you're lifting it up, it will bypass the pipe. Keep that side pushed down and lift it up so it comes straight up and out. I say just be careful like that because it does touch it. So, that's how you get your fan out, then, as you look through the gap here, you'll see a yellow clip, get a flat screwdriver, push it in, pop the yellow clip out. I pulled mine right out so I didn't have problems, it just popped straight out. When that pops out, then you want to put a flat, sky, flat screwdriver underneath here. It is a pain because it is underneath your pump. So you want to get a flat screwdriver underneath and pop it off because it's like a fork where this slides onto on the body of your engine so pop this off then you can get one hand this side one hand down here then there's a black clip on the other connector push that down pull them apart it comes off then you got this little sucker to do with like I said I moved it around got a set of pliers just on that you can't see how you gotta feel it. It is just underneath your pump as well. Get your pliers and just pull it up. But make sure all this is unconnected first. Put it up and it will pop out. It is a bit of a pain. Soon this is loose and clean. 22 mil spanner down. Crack it open. Soon it's cracked open, you can use your fingers to unscrew it. 
just be careful you don't damage your radiator in the process because they're not cheap to replace like I say just take your time just keep checking what you're pulling where your screwdriver is so you don't damage it else while you're doing it so what I'm going to do now is put it all back together well finish cleaning this then put it all back together and see if it knocks the light off just till after Christmas soon it hopefully it does then after Christmas I'll just replace it like I say all in all it's probably going to take me about two hours start to finish but it is a bit of a pain if you've never done one before add an extra what hour on just be careful people don't start yanking at things because things do break and things cost money so take your time make sure you got an old day so there's no rushing about it so I'll give this another clean start putting back together and I will try and show you how to get it back together Right, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I'll give it a good count. There we go, there's that super switch. You see on the top, there, that's a little back bit. You need to push in to release it. So, all I've done in, instead of putting it back onto the body, I've just run that's, that connector back over to the side. Back over to this side here. So, if I do need to do it again, I can get to the switch a lot easier. And all I do is tuck it up out of the way. So, at least then I'm not struggling to connect it again. So, there we go. Let's get it back together. So, the first thing to do, see that nice and clean. Come on, focus. Nice clean now. Put this back in, connect it back up, start putting things back together. So, that's it back in there. All plugged in. All I've done is took the wires back behind all the pipe work. Just make sure nothing goes towards your belt. So, next thing is get the fan back in. You can see the clips here, what pushed your fan down into, and there's one down. That side as well, so you can see it here yep, there. Just wait your finger on too. So, like I say, when you put your fan in, make sure you get it right way, and it wants to go like that. You want to put it downwards, motion down there, and turn it to get it in. Just make sure you put it right way. <laughs> All right, let's get this in. As you see, I've got it going down, so it goes like that on the pipe there. Right? Like I say, be careful of this because it does get caught up in there. So now it's time to get it from that to that. There we go. It's back in. Yeah. Like I say, be careful, especially of this and your wiring. What's down here? I thought I kept getting caught trying to get back in on the wiring here, and there's a bolt on your frame here, so you need to like twist the bottom out to get past the bolt, then it slides in. You might want to as well, when you got it in, then you can see, it's, just make sure you're careful of your pipes here as well. Let's say take your time, don't rush it, it can be annoying, yeah there's a couple of swear words coming out, especially when you greet your nails as well, trying to be careful so you don't damage your outs, but it goes back in. Soon it drops in, 
you want to lift it up and get it back on to the bottom like U bends so it slides on so you're now on and you just bolt it all back in right so that's the fan bolted in so next thing is to plug in the switch make sure it's in properly squeezed in I say I broke my toggle off trying to undo it but it's on firm enough then the next thing after that connect your pipe back on all right so the water pipe's connected back on the yeah, plugs are back on the switch and switch all right so before I put the black pipe on here I find it's easier to get this on just pops on just make sure the clips go back in tight you'll end up losing pressure so that will do it's that on so time to get this black switch on the black switch the black pipe on so scratch what i said before <laughs> connecting this pipe first because this one is a pain in the arse to slide back on at the bottom so i disconnected this one back off fitted this one don't forget to bolt it at the top put your pipe back on here so this one is just a push. That's what you do. You stick it on. Push. Get that in. Make sure all the clips are sat in properly. So I've got that back on, don't forget behind here there's like a washer that this sits on, when you take it off make sure you don't lose it, or it won't sit on properly, uh, these were a bit of a pain to get on to start bolting up, I'd use a spanner, I've got smaller hands, yeah my hands are massive so try and get them on there a bit pain in the neck so the next thing is is I gotta stick the little washer on then put the little metal ball or well, piece of wire wherever it is there it is that so I'll put the washer on first then that slides through the hole and twist it so it don't pop off so yeah we're getting there just bits and bobs to do now but you see put the washer on so you've got the like a little running wheel whatever washer type thing what goes inside the metal bit there then you put your washer on and a bit of wire through the hole one side and you just twist them together just to make sure it don't pop off There we go, water bottles bolted back on, turn mill, everything's connected back on, all I've got to do is put the covers back on now, uh, got to connect this bottle back on, so what I want is, and the bottom one first, see that, line that over the hole, push it in, use a little clip, and get your next one, just like that. Line it up. And push it in and just locks it into place. That's all you do with the rest of the cover here. Uh, top cover just pops on these little knob bits here. If you have one like this come off, Cover, pull it off, stick it back onto your cover and push it back down. 
So that's how you do the O2 sensor. Well, I've cleaned it. Like I say, if that don't work, I will be replacing it. If you have any questions or you get stuck, give us an inbox and I'll try and help you out. Like I say, take your time. This is the first time I've gone through the top way. There's a bottom way I really struggle to try and get my hands in and that. Uh, try and get to the wire and that so this is the first time I've gone through the top so you've seen what I've had to go through uh, time I put these covers on and that gave it a run uh, because I've unconnected that top pipe as well but I'll tell you this and a bit of water come out is when you got everything back together undo your water bottle when your water bottle's undone run your car Leave your car running for about 5-10 minutes, you'll notice your water will drop and plus with it running you'll get the airlock from out as well because you've put air into the system because you've took the pipe off. It'll bring the air out, just top your water back up and you're good to go. See if the light comes back on. Like I say if it does it will be getting replaced. Any messages, get stuck, give us a shout, just take your time. That's all I can say is take your time. Bottom way is a bit hard to get your hands in. If you've got smaller hands than that maybe. But then you need someone at the top anyway to guide you up. Because you can't see the wire from the bottom. You can't see it from the top to be flat. But you've got a better chance of seeing it from the top. So yeah, take your time. You don't want to be damaging anything else on the car while you're trying to do it putting more expense but if this works I've cleaned it if it works that has saved me what under 50 quid at a garage from to do that just to clean it there again the garages wouldn't have cleaned it they would have just replaced it so that's 110 what I'm 40 50 quid an hour labor it's took me I say time I've done all that about two hour 15 tops to do that's the first time I'm going through the top, but I am mechanically minded. I've done cars and that. I am a mechanic. But it's the first time I've done it on a Vauxhall Mocha. The car's done 147,000. Yeah, this car gets abused a lot. Most of it's motorway, but we do a lot of mileage in this car due to work. But like I say, get stuck, inbox me. I'll try and help you out. If you want to know how to do what else on the Vauxhall Mocha, give us a shout. And if I've got time, I'll do a small video on one just to help you out and show you what to do. Don't forget to subscribe and like to see upcoming videos on the Vauxhall Mocker or on the Barber Slash Rat build. I will try and, well, I will try and video some other cars I fixed as well as I go along. But it's getting customers okay to do it on their cars, like to video their cars so as I go along I will put more videos of different cars fixing the different parts and different cars so don't forget to subscribe and like and you all have a good day